the matter xenomorph was first encountered on the colony world of Terraform 3 by a band of colonial marines who were attempting to rescue a special forces officer with the Atax armor from the Flying Queen. The rescue had ended up being for nothing, as the operative had managed to down and then subsequently kill the Flying Queen, with little or no help from the colonial marines in pursuit. After the marines arrived, and reconnected with Atax. It's revealed that the colonists are planning on evacuating the colony. The reason for the evacuation is made very clear, and a swarm of leaping mantis xenomorphs attack. It's believed, although not proven, that the mantis xenomorphs are a product of genetic modifications. Using prey and mantis DNA, these modifications were believed to have been made by the Wayland yutani scientists. The mantis xenomorphs are able to leap 90 foot walls in a single jump. It's possible they can jump even higher, but as this variant of xenomorph is believed to be extinct, we may never know. Typically speaking, the mantis xenomorphs are larger and more agile. They also have far longer arms that end in large pincers similar to that of the praying mantis, and have a number of sharp spines running along the bottom of, of the arms. The coloration of the mantis xenomorph is also different from the normal xenomorph variant in that it has a green hue instead of the normal black shell. The one-shot comic Alien Swarm was never offered for individual sale anywhere and was an exclusive to the original Alien Mantis toy from Kenner. NECA released a new version of the Praying Mantis Xenomorph. This included wings, higher articulation and an improved colour scheme. Thank you very much for watching this video ladies and gentlemen. If you like this video then please click the like button. If you want more Alien Universe videos then please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I shall see you on the next Aliens Universe.